Well, good day, folks. Envy Wildman here. Uh, just a quick little video here. Super excited about my newest toy. Uh, we're going to unbox the General Mobile Phone Clip. Um, very much Chinese writing and instructions. But I ordered this on eBay. Cost about 10 bucks. And it says that you can attach your mobile phone uh, to this and then to a rifle scope um, or a set of binoculars or whatever and then you can video or take a picture of what you see through your uh, through your scope so I thought I'd give this a try um, ordered it and of course it came from China or Japan or somewhere overseas so I waited the standard 45 days shipping um, and just arrived today so we're gonna check it out and see if we got our money's worth with this baby uh, okay so let's see I always read the instructions first that's what good men and trappers and hunters do this is very much not something I'm going to read if you can translate this that's great oh here we go manual manual for mobile phone holder okay yep 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 up uh, yep got it. okay so uh, according to this, this loosens and should allow that to turn. Great. And this gets bigger and smaller to allow for the phone. Okay. Well, let's check it out and see if we can make this baby work. Step one. Attach mobile phone. All right. Okay, uh, not too bad. It's got padding. I mean, it's soft in the back of that, so and it seems to fit, seems to fit this camera really well. Uh, it's nice and tight. It's not gonna come out of there or flop or fall out of there. That's good. Okay, step two: adjust this round part so that it is directly over the camera eyepiece. Okay, and then tighten. All right. Okay, check, good, you can still see through the camera, no problem. Uh, now this outside ring of this uh, actually rotates and it's got three little claws or little teeth in there that are supposed to clamp down on the, on the lens or on the viewer of whatever you want to view through. So let's give this baby a try. This is all set. Um, great, okay, so binoculars, oh, I'll move that part out of the way. Binoculars. Okay, so these have lenses that you unscrew. Let's try to put that. Oh, that isn't big enough. Let's get open here. Oh, yep, fits there that time. Oh, good. Thought we were going to have a mess. Um, okay, so now we tighten these, tighten this. It shouldn't have to tighten very much since it barely fit. Let's see what we can do here. Tighten. Okay, that's just about as tight as I'm gonna get that. Oh, it's not very tight, but okay. So it, um, it seems to be, seems to be okay. I'm trying to get it back on the camera feature here. It seems to be okay. It's not very tight on there, um, but uh, it's on there. All right, what do we see here? Let's uh, take a look through the binoculars. Um, well, we're not too bad. We don't certainly don't have the full screen to look through, um, but we've got something. Turn it upside right would be helpful. All right. Oh yeah, no, that's not too bad at all. Um, it is smaller in the center of the screen. You can adjust the focus here and see what we're looking at across the room there. The floor, it looks like. Camouflage on the wall. But yeah, not too bad. So you could take a picture of whatever you were looking at uh, through, through here. Let's see if I can focus on something here for you. There, look over there. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, I don't hate that. 
All right, let's try a scope. Okay, so we take this off of here. It doesn't fit very tightly on the binoculars. That is a bit of a problem, but um, I guess if you were setting up, you could, you know, kind of tighten it and leave it. It wouldn't be jostling around too much. All right, so let's take a look at our scope. Crank it down to three. Let's see where we are on the scope. All right, so we seem to be pretty tight. Oh, it works really well on this Redfield scope as far as getting on there tight goes. Now let's see if we can see anything here. Let's see if we can see anything. Gotta find the camera. Okay, not loving it. Um, just a small little tiny, well, I can see the reticles through there, um, but a very, very, very small image. Um, not sure why that might be. Um, let's do a test here. Let's take this off for a second. Let's see if I have this adjusted incorrectly or what the problem is. Okay, we'll put that back right in the center. Open that up a little bit. We'll just give that a try. I won't really fasten it on there. Let's just take a look and see what we can see. No, same thing again. So I just have the small, so is it that it's too close? Or what's the issue? Yeah, see, it has to be way back here in order to see, like for the eye relief, like it would have to be back two or three inches from this. So if you put it right up to the scope, you just get the little tiny, tiny, tiny hole. Now let's just see if I take it out of this holder. Fits really well in the holder though, that is good. Okay, so let's just hold the camera right up to the yeah, see, it's the same thing. It's just too close, right? So in order to make this work, you'd have to hold your... If you wanted to see what was in this scope, you would have to hold your camera way, like, about that far back. All right, well, um, I guess it's an epic fail as far as the scopes go. Uh, I assume all scopes would be the same since you don't put your eye right on the scope unless you're looking to have a black eye when you're done hunting. Um, but overall, it seems to fit well in the, in this holder. Uh, it seems to adjust fairly easy and fits well. Uh, worked okay for the binoculars. Uh, almost didn't fit, uh, these, these are, um, these are a set of Monarchs, Nikon Monarchs. They, um, it, it was just, just big enough to fit those, um, to fit the eye pieces of those, um, I'm sure different binoculars would be would be different, but it doesn't work on a scope. Uh, it might work on a spotting scope or something else that you put your your face right up to, but um, overall, not really what I was looking for. Uh, the MB Wildman channel wants to um, we want to play with some tannerite, start blowing some stuff up, and I wanted to be able to to see the view through the scope when we do it, um, and I was hoping this little. This little baby would do it, um, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Uh, another good feature of it, though, it does have a, a standard standard screw here for a tripod, so you could actually just take this part off, I believe. You could just take this part right off, yeah, and then you could just use this as a standard mount, mount your, uh, mount your phone to a tripod uh, using this little bracket, but... Anyway, uh, a little disappointed uh, with my highly technical $10 eBay product. Um, don't buy this if you want to mount to a scope. Um, that's all I can tell you. Anyway, this is NB Wildman here. Just a quick little product uh, unboxing, review, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and, uh, and subscribe for more trapping, hunting, shooting videos. Uh, give us a like, send us a comment. Happy to answer any questions. Uh, hit that bell so you get notifications when we upload new content. And that's all for now. And be wild man out.